Hey guys, I'm John Brugan. I'm the director at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm, but the exciting part for me is the work's getting done at my house this time. So I've designed and developed a lot of exhibits for crocodiles and cassowary and parrots and all kinds of things at the zoo, but now we're doing it for me at the house. So uh, this is my backyard and I've lived here for 20 years. My house was built in 1900, so it's been here a long time and uh, it's been my dream to have a pool here. My wife is very excited about all this project coming along. So as you can see, we've got a big empty space uh, that we've kind of always envisioned that we'd have a place to swim. And we met with several people about a swimming pool, but you know, we're unique people. We, did, we have animals in our lives and uh, the idea of just a tiled edge pool wasn't all that exciting. And we found Earthworks and uh, we've been working with them ever since. And we're very excited about this idea of a aquascape lifestyle where you uh, swim in a pond, but the pond has some life in it like fish and uh, frogs and things like that. And it looks natural. It looks great all year, even when it's too cold to swim. And so you get this, uh, you get this really natural environment that's not so sterile and ugly and uh, I know a lot about re recycling water and about filtering water and these guys know exactly how to do it so that it's not labor intensive and it's a beautiful experience all year round. We're pretty excited about the fact that it's just not a project but uh, Aquascape is going to come out and the famous Greg Whitstock, who you see on YouTube, is going to be part of designing this process for us. And they're actually doing a class in our backyard. So other people can be certified Aquascape installers and learn how to do this for people that are looking for something more exciting than your average swimming pool. All right, all CACs, we're excited to have you guys uh, come down and help us build this uh, swim pond. Um, he's actually building it for some kind of lizard, I don't know, some kind of monster lizard. And that's his breeding area in there. So as you see, we have a bunch of river rounds for our bog filtration. Um, we had another semi come in with all of our field stone. Uh, we've got some big stuff out here, some small stuff, and some beautiful stuff. Look at this piece. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff to play with. Tomorrow we have one more semi coming in, so we're gonna have a lot of, a lot of toys to play with. If you guys wanna come over and look at where we're at, I mean, we're out here in the sticks in Elkton, Florida. Oh yeah, I got dining recommendations. It's cash only though. I mean, we're out, I mean, those fried green tomatoes. All right, yeah, so uh, this is our location where we're gonna be doing our swim pond at. Um, kind of like Camp Kennan, he's gonna be having lizards actually swim in the water with them. Um, they're gonna be putting a shower out here so they can come out, go swimming for a while, come back, take a shower, and then go back inside. Uh, so it's gonna be a pretty cool project. I mean, we're ready for you guys to come down and help us. So, day one, it's probably 7.07. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I've been out the property in the sales process with Jason. Um, so I know where we're going and what we're doing. I just don't know how we're doing it, who's doing what type of thing. We got the guys from Aquascape coming in. Um, so we're gonna be rolling extremely hard on this one. It's gonna go quite quick. I would imagine, but we're preparing for obstacles just like we would any other job. Um, that being groundwater issues, uh, weight issues with our rock. We're gonna bring our biggest uh, caterpillar out there with the counterweights on it. So just in case stuff is a little heavy, we'll take care of it. Um, aside from that, definitely excited. Homeowners, uh, quite interesting person with a collection of quite interesting animals, so there shouldn't be a dull moment on this project.
All right, guys, so we have returned. By the time we're filming, we're already behind the installation crew. So they're already digging the hole for the pond. On a project like this, it's so big that we try to stage things weeks in advance so that when we come out here to actually do the installation, everything's here. Because most of these vendors we deal with have complications, weather, or so on and so forth, that we try to get ahead of it so that we can start on time. So I decided to start filming here, number one, because it's loud, but John, the owners here, the Rugans, are so interesting that this, is, this wasn't enough, right? We're doing the swim pond, but that wasn't enough. John, even before, but between I contracted doing this job and now he has built an additional pond in his backyard. So he's got more of a traditional style, um, concrete shell and paint on uh, waterproofing on the inside. And this is going to be like a koi pond for him, a more traditional style. So above ground filters, you know, they have to go ahead and put plants and pots. So this is gonna be a fun project that he's gonna be working on, I believe for the next couple of years going on. And as we walk around, you'll hear chickens. So as we walk, we're walking through, all of this stuff out here is, is uh, as much self-sustaining as possible. He grows pitcher plants, um, lots of cacti, ground bromeliads, pineapples. So it's a really fun property. He's even got peaches growing here. We've spent the last, I think, two to three hours planning out exactly where everything's going. So I'll introduce you guys at some point to Chris, Ed, and a new guy they have, Trevor. I'll introduce you to all three of those guys. You get some little one-on-ones. This is the team we're collaborating with. So, and they're from Aquascape. And these guys from Aquascape, they know what they're doing. They're just like Mike, where that's all they do every single day is build ponds. So when you get a Michael and a Chris together, these guys are gonna, these guys are gonna accomplish a lot while we're out here. So day one, Mike's on the machine right now. You got Chris in the background over there. We have Sammy, we have Nick, and we have Jackson out here with us this time. We're just getting started, stay tuned. At the end of today, we're projecting to have the whole pond pretty much dug out as much as possible and we're crossing our fingers, groundwater. So we haven't had rain out here in a while. I was visiting the creek just about a quarter mile down the road. Creek looks low as can be. We are aiming on this project to go ahead and shoot for a four to five foot deep pond. So we're hoping to go ahead and get this thing right about chest height for the homeowners. That's the objective, right? Every homeowner wants to have as deep as possible. Here in Florida with the natural swim ponds, it's not as possible to do that. You would need a lot more infrastructure and uh, ma makes it crazy budget. So we are currently, uh, after getting everything shaped out, we were aiming to build a 20 by 25 pond. It looks like we're gonna end up making it a little, big, little bit bigger. So the homeowner should be happy on this one. To get the depth we're looking for, right about where Michael's landing right now, we're gonna need to go ahead a little, a little longer the pond's gonna have to be, more like 30 feet, so that we can get that depth that we're wanting. Yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. As soon as we get a little bit more done um, and I can show you where things are going, right now it just looks like we're a bunch of kids at the beach you know, making sandcastles. I told you that earlier, but for the aqua blocks and stuff, you're good where you're at. Yeah. You'll be all right. So within the first literally two minutes of digging, we already found something that is suspect. We got a two inch line running parallel with the house. So I'm holding off on digging up against where our future patio is going to be going in for right now but aside from that we're digging a pond today right here where i'm at we're sticking around 18 inches that's where our uh our intake's gonna be chris is interrupting my commentary with his commentary i'm getting a little confused but yeah, so the first elevation going down everywhere is gonna be two foot. This is gonna be a swim pond, so we're looking at uh, four and a half-ish depth on it. Um, so our first shelf, you know, we just mimic as we do with any other pond. We build it the same way, we just kind of beef it up a little bit. So we're going two feet down instead of our typical 18 inches. And then from two feet, that's where we're gonna have our bigger drop shelf, probably around three foot or so. We got some wall block material to get creative with. Um, we have large Tennessee field stone to play with. So it's gonna be quite the, uh, quite the pond here. Um, right where I'm digging, this is also gonna be a transition spot for uh, where, where the homeowners are gonna be coming out of the house and stepping into their, to their swim pond. So transition spot, meaning somewhat of a, a staircase effect for them to get in and out of is what we're going to be achieving. 
And that all happens with just rock work. Um, we're probably not gonna bring any brick work into the scene there. That's for the deep sections only, but you'll see it all come together.